Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. And welcome to our fully reanimated character that is also known as the Nameless Hero, because we died in the last episode very unfortunately. However, we've got new information concerning all the missing people in Corvinus. They were taken by pirates. The problem is, they only consider them as goods, so we have no idea where they actually are and where they're being taken to. He only said, well, they were taken to a different part of the island. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> well, Skip, you're definitely not as helpful as we thought you would be. So, how about we bring this news to Vatras? Because that is the main man. That is actually very important for us concerning the joining to the Ring of Water. So if Vatras will find out about what happened to these people, then maybe, just maybe, he might allow us to join the Ring of the Water. We shall see, however. So, while we walk through the beautiful city of Corinus. Trust me, back then this was actually very good graphics. Right now, it's probably only mediocre at best, considering how the textures look. But though, from afar, it looks quite alright. Now, dear Vatras. About those missing people. Yes? Let me tell you what I know. The farmers have lost some people as well. I have found out that the bandits are responsible for the disappearances here. Oh, kind the leader of. leader of the bandits is named Dexter. He is responsible for the kidnappings. I knew Dexter back in the penal colony. He was working for the ore baron Gomez then. He certainly will remember you. Uh, you should be careful. He does indeed remember I think me. You're on the right track. Just carry on. No, oh, is that all I get? All right. Well, I guess I'm not going to get any more information to you for the moment. However, what I'd like to know is how many old stone tablets I have. This is apple tobacco. Don't need. Uh, where are and they? The sea released the land, and there arose hmm. all creatures, trees where as are the well old as stone animals, tablets? wolves as well as sheep. Am I being Last blind wall, right now? I think I am. A human. Old stem tablets, hello. How don't I have any of these? The huh. Well, doesn't matter. So Let's open these clams, shall we? If he came across the land so and chose nothing there. The nothing. Beast. And nothing Beliar there. And nothing it, either. And the beast became Let's check these clams then. Acarine. Pearl. Nothing there. Nothing. And... So might the land. Another pearl. Not too shabby. For two of them. I could have sworn I had one of these old tablets here somewhere. Oh. Also oh well. The land Don't matter. So, human. next and up, our journey will take us to Onas Farm. That's the only place where we haven't been yet, so it's pretty much the only way that is still open to us that we need to take. However, before we do that, we shall go back to Laris. I just forgot about that we actually want to train a little bit of stuff there. Also, we can talk to Baltram here. Because he was Here trading with pirates. with pirates. What? Who told you that? I, that? I talked to one of them. He seems to be waiting for you in his bay. What can you do? These are hard times. Everybody has to look after his I own. guess so. That's what I've always said. Weren't you afraid of getting caught? That could happen. You found out too. Didn't Considering you? that he's actually working well, with the Ring of right? Water and the pirates. What is it you're trading? I mostly supply them with food. And for that, they give me the finest rum that's to be had in Corinus. How about we do this for you? I could take care of this deal for you. That would be great. I cannot leave Corinus at the moment. You don't need to leave the pirates down at the bay. Tell Skip not to be so stingy with the rum this time. 
It should be at least three bottles. What do you know about the pirates? They live in a remote part of the island of Corinna. Wow, that's like very helpful. The citizens of All the secret paths are skipped all as last time. For they're nothing but a bunch of nasty cutthroats. Still, if you ask me, they're nowhere near as bad as the men. Are they? Well, that was all I wanted to know. I don't believe Thank you, Beltran. We will see us again pretty soon. Now, let's head back down to the harbor for the moment. Because first off, we'd like to look to Loris, and secondly, we would also like to go to Skip. So we can get some bottles of rum. And afterwards, then we're going back outside to Ona, because I completely forgot about my skills there. Just want to train a little bit of dexterity. Only 10 points, however, not too much at this point. It's just for a little bit better lock picking, that's all. So, About those missing we can people. also talk to him, I think, a little bit about that. No? Like Alright. Uh, teach, teach me something. Me something. Now we want dexterity to be up You've by 10. Gotten more dexterous. Good. So that's all we need for now. We definitely want to increase our one-handed skill at a given time, but this is not a problem that we can solve right now, because there is no trainer to us available that will train us in one-handed weapons for the time being. We will get access to one trainer for sure, even if we are, for example, a member of the militia, or if we are a member of the mercenaries. You won't get access to one-handed weapons trainer if you are a mage, at least initially. However, with the add-on, you will get a special trainer that is open to all the factions if you do it correctly. So, that's not a big issue for us at all. Now, let's see what Skip has to say about the food we supply. Hello! I've got a package for you, from Baltram. What? He's sending me an errand boy? Yes, and he wants rum for it. Oh well, what can you expect from such a puny penny pincher? He says he wants three bottles of your rum in return. Ha <laughs> ha, wouldn't he like that? First he makes me wait forever, doesn't even show up in person, then he has the nerve to make demands. He does. Here, give him two bottles. That's enough for him. Alright. Now he has given up rum, and in the meantime we're gonna cook some meat here. It doesn't look like we're always cooking the meat because we're like floating slowly to the left hand side, but always when we place something new onto the... Uh, fire, then we're moving a little bit more to the left hand side. This is a little bit of a bug, nothing major, but it just looks funny, I think. At least when you're cooking like a hundred meters so, you'll be like a few meters to the left, which is quite nice to look at. And you always need to press forward here in this case, since the fastest way to really cook meat at this point. Come on, should have something like about 50 meters or so, probably. Shouldn't be too long anymore. And the longer I stand up, of course, the more I go on to the left-hand side. Of course we could scare Skip and say, Hey, look, it's Casper the Ghost! Well, the problem is, of course, Casper is a really friendly ghost, so he probably wouldn't be scared for long. But, you know, ghosts always very scary if you meet them for the first time and don't know their background. At least that's what I've been told, so... Better watch out for ghosts. But you do know who to call if there are ghosts around, right? I guess so. Right, can we, like, get up here, please? This wasn't so hard the first time. There we go. Now, we don't want to die this time around. Well, that would be very bad. Don't jump. Do me the favor and don't jump. Now, 
since I'm not going to die this time around again, I will be saving up, just to be sure. Just pressing the right button will jump us down to where we want to go. And then doing it again, and we're good. Now, we're gonna take back the rum to Balsham, and then we shall be moving on very much so along the street. And that will take us to own our farm. Without too many complications, really. There are a few beasts on the road, but we should be able to take care of them no problem whatsoever. So don't have too many fears about that. Also, if you're part of the militia, you could train with this dude over here, called Wolfgar. How's your duty? Oh, these boys swing their swords like farmers, but when I'm done with them, every single one of them will be a tough, hard bastard. Probably. Can you also train me in sword fighting? Lord Andre has ordered that we train everyone oh. who is in a position to defend the city. But that's only true for combat training. All other kinds of training are reserved for the militia. So I can, can train you in at here? least halfway handle a weapon? I think so. Alright. Alright, I guess I can. So, how about we Let's train with you? With the training. Hmm? So, we're going to increase one-handed weapons for the time being. And that will bring up to a rookie of 20%. I actually didn't know I could train with him. I actually thought you had to be part of the militia. Seems I was wrong. Maybe they changed it at some point. Can't remember exactly. Alright, here's your rum. But he gave me no more than two bottles. Damn expensive, that. Who does he think he is? Well, give it here then. There you I go. Can't give you much for it now. Don't this here's got to be enough. What do I get? What? Show me your wares. Ten gold. Ah, oh. Scrooge, you. Well, we don't need these things. We can certainly sell those. Pearl, Acromarin. Can sell that. <laughs> oh, those are the. Oh, I can't. Huh? What? Why don't I see them normally in my inventory? That. Everybody knows by now. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care. First time around, didn't see them. Now I see them. That is weird. Maybe I was just blind. Ugh. Eyes in the evening are not the best here. Especially when it's dark. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Anyway, we're not going to the left-hand side again. Because we want to go to the right hand side to Ona, you might think yourself, well, why don't you go left actually? Well, on the way up there, there's a boar. Right now, we probably could fight the boar, but I'm a little bit uneasy around him. We could probably take Mika with us, maybe, if he wants to come with us, or we could pull him back to Mika, but I'm not really interested in that right now. On the left-hand path there is also some plants that we could potentially collect, but they're not too much of a deal right now. There's also a nice ring up there that we might want to get later on, but first I want to at least get to level 6, which I'm not... Uh, uh, sorry, level 7 of course. Uh, because you can get to level 7 or 8 without joining one of the factions. I want to get at least to level 7 without doing so. It's a little bit of a difficult decision, but it's possible at least. So let's see if we can talk to Errol because we have three stone tablets. About those stone tablets. I've got some. Thank you. That's enough. And he now only I needed keep three. My promise to the water mage in town and then go home at last. I'll pay you for them, of course. I'm going home now. Come with me if you like. All right, Maybe so Errol is going to get home. Interest you when we get there. And the good thing about that is, first off, he's going to walk the same path as I do. And secondly, when he gets home, he could train me in strength. Or rather, give me a bonus point in strength. Not a lot, but at least something. Right. So we're going to let... Greg sit on that bench for the moment because I want to get a level up and get some more strength, get some better weapons 
and then we can help him out a little bit better. Now you don't want to go to the right hand side because there's a lurker over there and as you can well remember a lurker is nothing to be trifled with at this point. Now what we can do though is we can attack these wolves over here. You want to make sure that we only get one of them though. Right, gonna move back a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty easy for the moment. Wolves are not that much of a problem anymore. And they're pretty easy to kill as well. This is the cave uh, oh, yeah, Greg was there. talking about, by the way. Kill it! Kill it! There we go. Kill it! Thank you. See if we can hit. Oh, nice! That would actually pretty good. Aiming longer, by the way, does not increase your hit there. efficiency, so you shouldn't even try to waste that time. Now, what I do want to shoot though is that other blood fly. No, not the lurker. Come on, aim for the blood fly. There we go. Let's see if we can hit it from here. I don't want to go in too close. Because I hate these lurkers. Come on, hit it. Hit that thing. Hero, come on. Alright, gonna get a little bit closer then. But at least we hear the arrow hitting it. Or rather, trying to hit it. Right, I guess we get a little bit closer then. Come on. Oh, we should probably pull back. I had a lurker already rammering in the back. Well, that could have been a little bit easier, I suppose. But at least we killed all of them. Uh, arrow's not on the way just yet, so we have a little bit of room to eat some grave meat. Or digger meat, rather. So we can't pass by without him stealing our kills here. Which is important, because, you know, I don't like to waste any death of monsters on any other characters. Uh-oh. Two wolves could be a little bit problematic here. Oh, maybe not, because we did a critical hit there. Critical's always nice to get a little bit ahead. Especially if you have it, like me, like 20% already. Cannot be a bad idea. Never. Right, we're gonna try one of these boars and see how good we actually fare against them. I'm not exactly sure how good we'll be, but we'll try our best. Let's see if we can get one of them. Hopefully not the second one, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit of a problem here. Uh-oh. As you can see, these balls are quite strong. And we died. So you can see my initial doubt that we could beat one of them. It can be very hard. It's not that easy to kill if you don't know what to expect. It's not that hard to kill either. But the problem is once you get two of these things, then you're pretty much boned. I always try to get one of them, instead of two. They don't net that much XP either. And they're not that tough to kill, but they can dish out quite a bit of damage, which will be a little bit of a pain. You just need to know when to get back. Ugh, 
Almost got me there. There we go. I wonder how Athrogard is hellball actually, considering the um the description from the recent Salvatore books. If you're a fan of reading fantasy like the Dreadstone and Forgotten Realms books, then you know exactly who I mean. The dwarf that rides with Jalaxley. I like him. Now show me your wares. There isn't much choice, I'm afraid. Just show me what you got. Alright, Warhammer, Bastard Sword, Battle Axe, Slight Two-Hander, and a Fine Short Sword. As well as an Amulet of Strength, and a Ring of Iron Skin, which is not really that much useful. But, he has an ex Elixir of Life, which could potentially increase my hit points by 20. So, we are going to save that for later. Because 20 hit points is always a good thing to have, no matter what. Now, let's have a look around here. There should be some more people. And what we want to do is we want to heal up before we continue. That's a stew. Alright. Now let's see what these two people can do for us. Hmm? This is Buster. What do we have we know here? him from before. Don't I know you from somewhere? You do indeed. Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. Yes, and you, you are. had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. Oh, really? Oh, How are you going to? What do you want here? I know Lee. Everyone knows Lee. That doesn't mean a thing, pal. Right now. You're talking to me. So where are you headed? That's none of your business. Nobody talks to me like that, you worm. I think it's time to kick your butt. Let's Defend see how yourself. we can deal with Buster here. Yeah. Let him have it. Go ahead, hit back. Defend yourself. One critical hit, mm, and there we go. Bad. Now we're gonna steal his bow and lots of stuff as well. Never too bad. Also, how about we pick up his axe here and then wait for him to wake up again? We could also kill him, of course, but that's none of our concern right now because we want these people to stay alive for the time being. Well, we'll see the next time. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? How about I this? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. Oh, We're well, that's farms. nice to know. Yeah, it's just us mercenaries. wandering yeah, around here, standing at the path. If you can stand your ground, you're in. Ah, <sighs> think Buster, you're seriously, right you, you, need you need to know this region, you need to know the people in here. Why just standing there? It just fight. doesn't make there any sense. Being a waylayer to any other people that we travel around Sentenza here, they could be one. like normal, he sensible people. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. Well, I'm not about to. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to well, perhaps we could just walk if by. If I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. All I right. once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. That was not a hint. It was advice. <laughs> Well, how Here about that? Hmm? Five gold pieces. Yeah, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. Can you teach me how to fight better? That would be good to know. I might well be able to give you a hint or two. One-handed weapons, in theory. However, we're not going to. Not right now. What we want to do 
is to continue. Why did I actually read that to the London Tower? I don't even know. Land owner was the word. Well, for the time being we shall be continuing on our path and along this road. On the right hand side of this wonderful scenery you will see some field raiders looking out for new prey. On the left hand side of this path you will see some Stonehenge like ruins, a farm, some mushrooms and a lot of farmers that we can't really see because they're out of reach of our current vision range. To the right hand side over here you will notice a cave that we can't enter yet because we don't want to go in there just yet. And straight ahead of us are some very interesting fellows. For example this guy here, Festa. And this guy here, Sentenza. However, we would like to talk to Festa first. Or I'd like to call him Uncle Festa. In the Adams family. What are you Let's doing? Let's go. Here? I'm preparing for battle. Uh why? Why? Lately the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. To be in the field raiders, I don't think they actually taste that well, but you know what? Whatever suits you. And it was more or less my fault. Now, more or less means probably you, the guy who's a hundred percent responsible for everything. Boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Well, where's, where's the, the nest? nest? In the middle of the field here, in a big rock. Wow, how about that? Hmm? that nest together. You want to help me? Why? How about we say? I want to join you. Oh, so that's the way it is. You want to prove how good Indeed. you are. Indeed. All right. Let's attack the beast together. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip No, I'm first? fine. You go ahead. You could then. go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. All right. We're going to let him lead the way for the moment. We want to go over to the left hand side now and see what he can do with us. Problem however is There's another of those scummy beasts. That he will of course shoot them. One less monster. And around. we don't get the experience. So we just want to make sure that he shoots them at least once. Alarm! And then we can monster. kill the other one here. Oh! That's nice. Stuck in the corner, are you? Nothing to be had there. Now, what do you find here? Some gold, a rusty axe, some gold, a potion which glimmered so green. So this is where they dragged the dead farmers. Disgusting. Indeed, the it is. The things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Indeed, you go back. I'm gonna collect all the loot that is in here, especially because it's quite valuable. The green potion we just found is a permanent potion of dexterity, by the way. So you should keep it in your inventory and use it way, way later in the game. Do not try to use the potions, at least the permanent potions, at this point in time, other than health or mana potions, unless you do want to increase your mana otherwise later on, uh, because you won't be getting the same out of it. Well, basically that's wrong. You will get the same amount of health, mana, strength and dexterity out of the potions. However, the later you take them, the less learning points you will have to spend on the stuff that you will gain previously before you reach a certain point. And trust me, you do not want to invest too much learning points into stuff you will be able to increase later on in the game. Now what we also want to do is go to the back of the cave here before we go back to Festa. Because there's something I would like to get from there. Also upside on the cave is something I want to have as well I think. As far as I remember. Got some healing plants here and there. There's a stone tablet I wanted to get. That's what I wanted to achieve here. 
can't remember exactly if there's something on top of this thing. Just gonna check it out, I guess. Let's have a look. Maybe, maybe not. Can't remember. Sometimes things are in very odd places, as you can see. Especially when it comes down to special items that you want to collect at some point. But it seems we're completely free of anything here. So, Fess is over here. What could possibly go wrong here, you ask yourself? I can tell you, Fessably can be a douche. So, we're gonna go over to him and talk to him. And what about our agreement? Actually, we didn't well, have one. Well, I could we? get you accepted, Bias, but I won't. And why oh. not? If I tell everybody that you help me, they'll hit me with a new assignment. You understand? I don't dig that, don't you? Capiche? Well, tough. Wow. I'm sure you'll find someone else to help you. No, actually, we're not cool with it. I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. Oh! Good to, uh. Jumping is probably not a good idea, as you might have noticed at this point. How about we try and hit him to death with our one-handed weapons that deals 20% of critical hit if we hit correctly. We're just gonna hope that this is okay and we're not gonna fight him upstairs here. And die because of this. No, we're good. Oh, it's good to know that we actually jump with the uh, space bar right now. I did not notice that before. This was totally weird. But we can loot him nonetheless and pick up his hatchet. So, Mr. Tough Guy. We had there. What do you think now? Hmm? We kicked your butt. Oh, man, my head. Wait Not only your head. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? How about nothing? Because you're already a douche. So, let's move on to the mercenaries camp here. And this guy over here is Sentenza. Where do you think you are going? In there. <laughs> I wanted to have a look around, that's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Well, ah, I, I guess so. You're so. for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here, hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then, let's see what we have here. Ah, gold. It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? Alright. We'll deal with that for now. 50 gold is not that much of a deal. For us at this point, anyway. This is Rule, by the way. One of the most nagging and stupid fellows that you can ever met. And then... We go inside here. Where there are some beds, which is absolutely wonderful, since we are very low on health, and we like to rest here. Right. Wonderful. So, I'm going to cut the video off here, though. And when we come back, folks, we're going to talk to all these mercenaries over here, and try to win their gratitude by either fighting with them, or doing a quest for them. So, we'll see how they think about us once we do that. So, I will see you all next time.